It's awesome to be back hosting the Billboard Music Awards again. It's obviously, I feel like every year I have a, a, a challenge, a personal challenge, and this year it's like everyone's challenge. Um, we're definitely going to navigate it in a new way, uh, but we're going to do it, and it's going to be great. This show is obviously going to be different this, uh, this year because of, we're navigating all the COVID-19, you know, precautions like and we want everybody to feel safe um, and, and be safe and healthy um, while we're here and we're definitely still doing you know live performances um, I think like half of it's live and half of it's live to tape so it's still going to get that kind of normal feeling and that normal vibe of like really hearing music again which is awesome um, and then it's in the theater it's in it's in the Dolby theater so it's going to be a, a different vibe in that sense as well. Um, and I like that because I think the theaters are, those are my favorite places to see shows because it's more intimate. Um, and so that, that'll be really cool um, to, be, to be able to do that this year. It's usually in the, you know, a huge, huge arena. So, um, but it'll be like a more intimate setting and, and how we have the stage set up is pretty cool. Um, and we're just honestly trying to, you know, give everybody something a little normal. People are used to watching the Billboard Music Awards every year. So we're trying to keep that, you know, coming for everybody, but also um, provide the escapism we all really desperately need. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. Music is, is generally my outlet for every emotion um, that I'm having. And, and, and I don't, I'm lucky in that sense. I do feel very fortunate because I have been writing a lot um, and, um, and recording a lot. And, and, I'm, and I love singing. I always cover songs on, on the Kelly Clarkson show. So um, I've been doing that throughout the whole pandemic. <laughs> um, so, I mean, it never really goes away for me, um, music. I'm always, I'm always doing it. I think when it does, that'd be a sad day for me and I think most musicians. Um, but I'm really excited though this year because um, speaking of covering songs, you know, we're, we're navigating this year's Billboard Music Awards a little different, um, uh, differently rather, um, and it'll be, it'll, it's gonna be probably my favorite um, opening. Um, I'm very much in love with what we're doing, um, and I can say that because it wasn't my idea, it was actually my musical director's idea. Um, and it's gonna be a little different than what people are expecting, obviously, but we're definitely gonna cater to the times a bit, and um, you know, um, we have a powerful message. It's not gonna make you, you know, we're not trying to make everybody cry or be more depressed about 2020. We've done that enough. Um, it's more of like uniting people and connecting people and, and, and you know, music has a, a very healing power to it and, a, and, a, and the power to connect people. And that's really what we're focusing on for the opening, so. I'm excited about the performers. I mean, I am lucky. Um, you know, the voice coaches and I, we all get to talk about how we get to hear live music right now because the voice, we tape, you know, the show. So we are fortunate in that, but I, I still, I want more. I'm greedy. So I, <laughs> I'm very excited about seeing the performances and hearing them and feeling them in person. And um, that, that's, that's personally um, what I'm, I'm super stoked about. I'm also excited that I'm hosting a show that the Icon Award is going to someone I love because um, I grew up on some Garth Brooks and I still love Garth Brooks. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked that I get to just be anywhere near that happening. Um, so it's going to be a really fun night. I feel like every year that I've hosted the Billboard Music Awards, something is happening that I'm having to navigate around. And I feel like it's just, that's what happens. There's always a hurdle. Um, so, and I, I adapt um, rather easily and, and can kind of just keep going, you know, show must go on. So um, that you definitely got the right host for it. Um, but I, I, I don't know, I, I feel like this year it's gonna be a little bit more intimate, which is my thing. Um, I love seeing shows like at amphitheaters arenas, but Seeing a show in a, in a club or a theater, like that kind of vibe, you cannot create unless you're there in that moment. That's a hard vibe to, to create in a, in a really large, um, you know, uh, arena. So I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty stoked about that, just the intimacy factor of this. But we're still, you know, the music is still, you know, big and huge sounding and, and it's still going to, um, you know, I don't know, hit us with the best, you know, waves ever. And we need that emotionally and energy, energy wise. So that'll be good. But I, I like that it's going to be an intimate setting. That's, that's probably my favorite part this year. Probably the coolest thing for me, this Billboard Awards, um, is um, a friend that I love that I can't even believe I can call him a friend. Um, but Garth Brooks is receiving the Icon Award this year. Um, and it's just insane to grow up and, and love someone musically like that and then 
you know, end up in the studio one day, which was a surprise, being produced by him. And I'm singing with his wife, Trisha Wood, and it was like, what is your life? Um, and it was the best day ever. Um, it's just a really cool thing to, to, to know someone like that um, and, and, then, and know how deserving they are of such, a, a, I mean, the Icon Award, I'm shocked he hadn't had it yet. Like, he's just one of those people that is, is genuinely so nice and giving and um, just his catalog of music is insane. So couldn't think of a better person to receive this award 